Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how we did this range hood cover. Hey everyone, so today is an exciting day because we get to show you what we did with this space. We found a lot of ideas on Pinterest and we had our own ideas, but we ended up finding something that we really liked and so we took that and we modified it to fit our space. I will link that tutorial down below for you guys so you can take a look at it. But the first step here that we did was to remove the microwave and the cabinet above. Okay, so here are the pieces that he wants to get. So these are uh, one by six. So he got four pieces. Then he got one by twos. He got three pieces. And then a two by four. I believe he got two pieces. And I'm thinking they're by six feet. So the first pieces of wood that he was cutting was to create the frame around the range here as you see. So he used a 2x4 wood and then he cut four pieces out to fit the hood range. And then now he's just drilling the pilot holes and then he's going to screw them all together. So here you have it. This is the frame for the range and now he's just attaching it to the wall. He made sure that he found the studs and then he's using the level to make sure it's leveled and he's just screwing it to the wall. And once that was secure, he went ahead and attached the range to the wood. Once he attached the range to the framing, he went ahead and attached the other board in front of it. So now it's pretty much wrapped up in that wood and that's what's supporting it to the wall. And then he went ahead and added the one by six. So he added one piece in the front and then two pieces on each side. So here, this is the one by six. And then he attached the one by six to the frame that was with the range with the L brackets all the way in the back, as you see there. And then he did the same thing on this side. So he did a one by six and then he attached that with L brackets to the frame that was already there. And this is the front piece. And he used a nail gun to attach the front piece. Okay, so now here we are working on the side pieces. So what he did was he joined two pieces together, uh, one by two and a one by two. And he used wood glue. And then he let that dry. And then he's cutting one side on a 17 degree angle. And the other side would be straight down. And I'll show you where they're gonna go once we go back inside. Um. The other side is not going to be flat. I got to do an angle on that one too. Oh, okay. So right here, he's just finishing cutting all the other pieces that he needs. And I will be writing down below in the description box everything that he did. And then once he was done cutting everything, he's just test fitting it. And I'm just going to show you real quickly how it's going to go. So on the back wall, as you see there, it's a one by two piece. So just one piece there and one piece on this side. And then he, in the front portion here, he's going to attach these pieces that he created that I showed you. And then on the front, he's going to slide in these pieces of wood, which are the one by six and also on the sides. So this is what we have so far. So we have, this is the one by six, this, and this is also one by six. And then the top piece is a one by four. And then I showed you guys how he did these side ones here. And then in the back, again, he placed the same boards. So one by six, another one by six, and a one by four. And the same thing on that side. And now he's gonna be working on the frame for this top piece. Because from here, it's gonna go straight up like this. So here's a closer look of how it's looking and the way that he inserted the panels was he just slid it from the top all the way to the bottom. He used a little bit of wood glue at the bottom of each panel and then he secured it with a nail gun in the front. So right here he created the frame which is going to go on top. So these are two by fours. And then he's just screwing it together. So right now he's just finding the studs so he can 
drill that frame that he just created. And here you have it. This is how it looked after he attached it to the wall. So this is the frame that he created to put on top. There are one by two. And then he just did an angle cut here and then he glued it together. Okay, so right now um, he's outside cutting the rest of the wood, but that's the frame that he did in first that I showed you. And now this is this other piece. I just lift it up. It's gonna go here like this. And then he's cutting the pieces to go up there and then in the front here. Okay, so here you have the front piece and these are the side pieces. And that's what's gonna go right on top. So it's gonna pretty much frame that frame right there. So right here, he's just securing all the pieces and he's using the nail gun, but he did use a little bit of uh, wood glue to secure everything. So this is another frame that he did uh, out of two by fours. And then he's gonna attach that all the way to the top, to the back, sort of like the initial one that we did. And that's just gonna add extra support for the top portion. Okay, so here at the back is where he attached that frame and he did that just for extra support. So when he keeps building this up, there's somewhere to hit. Um, so that's that one. And then these were the one by six that he cut and he put it here. So the frame, this is the square frame that he had done that I showed you before. So right now here, he's just gonna attach the smaller frame one and he'll do that now. So right here, he is cutting the one by twos to create the corner pieces for the top portion that he's working on. So he sands it down and then he's going to join them together with wood glue and then he's gonna nail it together. And this is gonna create the corner pieces for the top portion. So similar to the ones that we showed you earlier, the ones that were cut in an angle. Well, these are just gonna be cut straight because they're gonna go straight up and we'll show you how that looks. So right here, he's just finishing building it all the way up with the one by six boards. As you can see, he nails it down every time he attaches one. And then here, this is the piece that we just showed you how he did it. Um, he just put wood glue and then he nails it down. So right now to finish off the top piece, he is gonna attach another frame, kind of similar to the one that he did in the middle portion. So it was made out of the one by twos. He created that U shape and then he's just going to attach it all the way to the top. He's going to slide it in and then he's going to nail it down. So as you saw there, he cocked the top portion out and then he went ahead and used wood filler to fill in all the little holes and gaps that he saw. And then once that dry, he went ahead and sanded everything down. He used a 180 and a 240 grit. And then after that, he went ahead and stained it. We used the caramel nugget, which is our new favorite one that we've been using throughout the house. And then obviously he used some gloves and then to apply it, he actually used a magic eraser. And this is how it turned out. And I really love how it came out. Even though I may say that in the beginning, I wasn't too sure just because I feel like the cabinets should go all the way to the ceiling but it looks great i really do like how it looks and i hope that this video was helpful i know that it 
may seem a little complicated with all the cuts and all the parts but if you do have any questions please let us know in the comments below we'll be happy to answer them i hope that this was very helpful to you um and if you did like it please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing and i'll be back with more videos bye